Hello, stationary friends. Welcome to Ginger PG Pens. Um, if you're new here, my name is Sarah, and today I have another unboxing for you. Um, my voice doesn't sound normal because last week I told you I think I'm coming down with a cold, and guess what? It was not a cold. It was the virus of which we do not speak. So I've had a kind of rough week, but um, the last two or three days I've been a lot better. I just don't have a um, normal voice. I'm kind of hoarse. And um, I cough a good bit, so there will be some odd breaks probably in this video where I um, have to piece it together. Um, so the pen I have to share with you is um, kind of one that snuck up on me. I've been seeing the pictures of this pen, and um, I don't know, it just took me a little while to kind of go, I think I really like this. And so I started looking for videos of it, and there are none. Aside from, like... Um, retailers unboxing the Esther Book J. There are not videos yet. Um, as of today, when I looked, I couldn't find any. So um, I'm excited to share this with you in case you were curious about it. Um, so it comes in this really pretty box. I like this uh, kind of old school design. I love this logo here. And we'll see this again um, in just a minute. Um, cute little stamp stampy thing on the back and yeah so this is one of their fabric covered boxes but it's the drawer style it's not the um the clamshell and here it is so it comes of course with a cartridge and their little uh, warranty card and the pen is nestled right in here so here is the Esterbrook Model J. Um, I know that there, you know, was an original Esterbrook J um, many years ago, and the JR, I think, was supposed to be modeled after that. Um, I did not do my due diligence to see, does this one look like the old J or not? But what really caught my eye with this pen is this, these gold bands right in the middle. They're kind of uh, hammered gold, um, and they are just really beautiful. They, in person, I don't feel like this is translating well on camera, but um, they just really shine. They catch your eye, you know, when you reach for this pen. Um, this has the same clip that the JR has. It kind of has the same overall silhouette as the JR, except the JR is much thinner, um, and the cap, you know, kind of sticks out bigger from the JR, and this one's a little more, a little more streamlined, and definitely a wider pen, more comparable to the SD in width. Um, this material is ebonite, which this is my first ebonite pen, and I was shocked at how lightweight this is. Um, if you didn't know better, you would almost think it's cheap, um, and it's not cheap. I mean, this was not a crazy expensive pen, and thankfully I scraped together some rewards and some uh, discount codes and things to help me get this one, but... Um, but yeah, it's not a cheap material, but you would feel like, oh, this is a lightweight pen. We're kind of tricked to believe that, you know, heavier pens are more valuable, which, um, you know, if you've bought a lot of really cheap Amazon pens, you'll know that a lot of those are heavy and metal. So not that they're bad necessarily, but the weight doesn't mean quality is what I mean. So um, here is, let's see, give you a pic, a video view of the bottom. See if we can get this up close material. This color is called rose or antique rose. I don't really know why because it's not a rosy color. The gold is a yellow gold and the brown is quite a neutral brown. I don't find it to be a warm rosy tone but um, it is called antique rose. When you open it up um, here is your nib. It's got a standard um, number six Yovo nib. Um, I got mine in a fine and it writes really well right out of the box. Um, this grip, I mean, you can, I don't know if you can see, it's hard to show you the detail of the material on this grip. So if you're not aware, um, and I'm not an expert and didn't, again, didn't do my due diligence before I started this. 
I'm pretty sure ebonite is like a hardened rubber material. Um, a lot of times, well, I know that like before plastic feeds were a thing, um, they were made of ebonite. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a hardened rubber. And I have heard too that ebonite often has a smell to it, which this does not have any kind of smell. And I have not lost my smell, just to be clear. Um, this pen does also have the cushion cap, like the SD. Um, you can kind of hear it in there. Can you hear that? The spring kind of, or the, that cushion cap kind of, I don't know, makes a sound, which I don't love, but, um, you know, not a deal breaker. Um, yeah, I just find this so beautiful. It is a cartridge converter pen. Um, <clears throat> opens up right here, just like normal. And has that standard international Esterbrook branded converter. And um, I'm really enjoying this so far. So let me um, quickly do a couple of comparisons um, for you. So here is the Esterbrook J. Bring this down. Here is an Esterbrook SD. Here is a Twisby Eco. Um, a Pilot Custom 74. Is it on the other side? Um, here is that Twisby Diamond 580. I don't know why I said that. Here is a Twisby Diamond 580. I didn't realize how comparable in size it is to the Eco. And I was also going to show... Oh, wow, okay. The Pelican M400. Okay, let me see. Let's swap these. 400 is the same size as the 200 series. Um, they don't start going up in size until the 600s. 600, 800, and 1,000. So let's see if we can kind of... Here's your lengths, if that is helpful. So it's a little shorter than the SD, larger than that Pelican, which um, is good, because this one, I, I really love my little Pelicans, but they are, can be kind of small. Sometimes they're, they feel a little small for me. Um, I'm not going to compare the length of all of them. Let's see, but I'll compare the length of a couple, um, un uncapped. So here are some uncapped comparisons, um, pretty similar in length to really all of these, but um, slightly shorter than the SD, slightly longer than the Pelican. And since these are the same brand, let's compare these up close. The grip sections on these, I would say are pretty similar. Um, I don't have calipers to measure you can see they're pretty similar. Um, it might taper just slightly more, but then it has that nice flare at the end to keep your fingers from slipping down onto the nib, which I really like. Um, I find this really comfortable um, unposted. <laughs> it is postable, but it's almost like it's unsure if it's supposed to be. I don't know. I'm, I'm hesitant to do that because you kind of have to push it on there. But it is postable, and then it feels almost a little too long. So um, I think I prefer it unposted. Um, I have kind of a medium size hand, and um, that works just fine. So it's really comfortable to use. Um, yeah, I'm really liking it so far. Um, let's see. So I have this pen inked with Diamine Chocolate Brown, which I swatched for you, um, along with uh, some other Ink Rainbow 23 inks that I ordered. <laughs> I still had need to do another one. Another one. I was going to say another one more. I do need to do one more, another one of these videos. Um, so yeah, Diamond Chocolate Brown is a dark chocolatey brown. Um... This pen, for some reason, makes me tend to write small and cursive. 
So um, it's that sharper, fine nib. It's not a scratchy nib. It is just kind of, it is fine. Um, let's see. You can see I did this once already, <laughs> but we're going to write just a little bit again. So it's the Esterbrook Model J Antique Rose. I write my little pangram. Well, it's hard starting now because I've had it open. All right, I haven't had a hard start issues at all um, until just now. So, all right, fuzzy ducks, ducklings, I exquisite hand woven jumpers. So it works super well. Um, yeah, I have no complaints about this pen whatsoever. I think it's really special. I think it's really beautiful. Um, I I just I don't have anything bad to say about it. Look how pretty this material is. I mean, it's it's a really nice sort of hearkening back to old days. Oh, I forgot to show you one of my favorite things. I love that this has this engraving on the side. Let's see if I can get it to focus. This has that same engraving that's on the side of the box. R. Esterbrook Co. I was going to say and Co. But just R. Esterbrook Co. USA. I love that. I don't always love engravings on the side of pens. Um... It's very, is it the same? I think it's, yeah, it's the same as this. Um, except that USA is scooted over. But I just think it's really a nice touch to this pen. Um, I wish it was on the top. Let's see. When you hold it, it hides underneath on the bottom. That engraving is on the, on the back side. And I tried to see it's only single threaded, so you can't, you know, screw the barrel on a different way to make that um, engraving show in a different spot. Anyway, I just find this pen to be really beautiful. I wanted to share it with you. Um, it was kind of a an unexpected purchase, um, but one that I do not regret. Um, and wanted to get a video out there because I don't feel like anybody's showing it. I will show you really quickly. This pen feels really lightweight to me, but it is truly not much different Oh, no, I don't use scales usually, um, but it is not much different from a standard SD, which is not like an SD is a heavy pen, 24 grams, and this does have ink in it. This does not, but this is 26, so, you know, 27 or so without, with ink in it, um, uncapped. Fifteen grams, and this one uncapped. Seventeen, sixteen, seventeen. So there's really not much difference, but I think this acrylic, just for whatever reason, feels like a heavier material than ebonite. Um, so yeah, just really interesting. Let me know what you think. Um, is this a pen that you think you'll pick up? Um, I was. Uh, just thinking like two or three years ago me would have been shocked at myself buying like a classic looking brown pen um but i really love this and it's a fine nib too like who would have thought but um let me know what you think i do have a vlog sale coming up um, in the next few days if i can get my voice feeling a little bit better um and so keep an eye out for that if you're interested um and then probably after that, a mystery matchup. Um, I know a couple of people have mentioned them, and it's time for another mystery matchup. But um, I wanted to get this out here this week so that uh, you could see it. Yeah. So anyway, thank you for watching. Um, if you enjoy these, I hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. And um, thank you for those of you who come back and uh, visit me and chat with me in the comments. I really enjoy doing that. Um, so anyway, I hope you'll have a wonderful weekend 
or week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.